Okay, Ubi. What are Billy Joel's next tour dates? Why don't you just carry me around? Hey there, I'm Megan Woolerton for CNET Appliances here in my house with the Unified Computer Intelligence Corporation's UBI. Now UBI is short for the ubiquitous computer. When I think of that, I think of something that could automate your house, answer questions for you, basically be a Siri for your home plus some automation goodies thrown in there too. For example, you can pair it with your SmartThings hub and other connected accessories. It works with Nest and Belkin Wemo products. And as far as helping with home automation and that sort of thing, it does a pretty good job. For example, I used a Belkin Wemo switch and hooked it up to a space heater I have in my living room and I can say, okay, Ubi, turn heater on. Drop out. That didn't work. For example, I could say, okay, Ubi, turn on heater. And my heater just turned on. Actually, you probably can't hear that, but it's in the background there. You might have to try a couple times for it to hear everything, but generally it does a pretty good job with that kind of stuff. As far as a search engine though, it did not do a great job. What time is Interstellar playing in Louisville, Kentucky? It is 4.40 p.m. So as you can see there, it pulled keywords, but it didn't really answer the question I had for it. That's kind of how it generally works as far as a search engine. I wouldn't expect it to return accurate results. I wouldn't really rely on Ubi as your sole search engine. This is $299. That is really, really expensive for something that isn't a ubiquitous computer, not really. So overall, if you're interested in voice control and you have $300 to spare, this is a fun, semi-novel product. It can help you automate your home, but sometimes it even gets that wrong. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my full review of Ubi on CNET.com. I'm Megan Woolerton for CNET Appliances.